almost done with this. This is just a three by three chunk of uh, pine. What I did, I spray painted it gold. As you can see there, it's kind of hard to see the shimmery gold. It's nice shiny gold paint. And then I covered this whole thing with blue painter's tape uh, because, you know, laser and reflective services supposedly is a really bad thing. So uh, I didn't want to find out what would happen. So I put the tape over it first and the laser does a great job. It's doing this really pretty deep. You can see the texture there maybe. Like a sixteenth of an inch or so, maybe, I don't know. But, uh, yeah. So far, so good. It's coming out really cool. Yeah, I don't know if you can see that. I was able to get my URL in there. TerrapinCreations.com Terrapin, www.terrapin-creations.com Hidden in the design there. Hard to see, but yeah. Okay, so I got one last side to go which is identical to this side because each pattern is repeated on the opposite side. There's one here, that one, and that one, and this one, and that one. So I got one side left, and I'm done. And there's my little laser set up on top of the... This is the same wood that the this is made out of. Here, it's a chunk of wood. It's got some cracks in it and stuff too, which I think will be fine. I think it'll look cool. Okay, I'll do the last side. We will I'll film this too, do a time lapse on this. Each side's taking like three, four hours. It's crazy. It's a good thing this thing does this on its own. I just go upstairs, I come down, check it every once in a while, make sure the house isn't set on fire. But uh, other than that, it's not too bad. I just let it go on its own. Okay, guys, bye. Okay, all six sides are done here. You can see I started peeling here, so I'm going to uh, peel the rest of this thing off. It might take a while because i got to get all these little bits off. Okay, let's get started peeling this thing. Almost done here. Holy cow. This is an easy side too. This one's not that bad. But uh, the other ones, holy cow. The worst was these. Oh my god. All these little bitty teeny pieces in here. Some of these like little microscopic bits that you had to get off. Holy cow. I'm sure I missed some. I don't know where they are, but they might have missed some of these. But overall, this, this thing came out. I think it came out really great. I might keep this one. I don't think I'm going to sell this. <laughs> I really like this thing. I love, like, the cracks. Look at that. It, I don't know, it gives it... It seems a little more real with the cracks. Like, it's this thing has been through hell. Because, uh, supposedly... In the movie Hellraiser, this puzzle, when somebody figures it out, it opens the gateway. I guess the, you have a gateway to hell. And, uh, you know, Pinhead and all the all his buddies come rushing to meet you. And to thank you for solving the puzzle. Yeah, there it is. My little puzzle box. Of course, non-functioning. This is just a solid chunk of wood. And, uh... You know, laser engraved. Let me see if I could zoom in on this. Look at that. You can see the texture. 
I love all the ruggedness of this. It looks really cool. And yeah, all it says is a block of wood. It's uh, cut from one of those pieces right there. In fact, I think that's the adjoining piece that I cut it from. And uh, spray painted it gold. I let it dry for a, a whole, I think I let it dry for at least 24 hours, the paint, because I was afraid when you, know, you put tape on it and peel it off, you peel off the tape. And I sanded the wood and made sure it was really dry and grease free and all that. And uh, there's some of the painter's tape that I peeled off just now. And the reason I did that is the gold paint, supposedly it's a, you know, it's a reflective surface and to use a laser on a reflective surface is supposedly dangerous. So I didn't want to do that and, you know, cause any kind of havoc or fire or something in my house. I don't know. So that's why I did that. And uh, the laser went right through that painter's tape, no problem. And still did a great job of etching this. And I think this came out nice. This will be up on my shelf with my radios and my boom boxes and all my other collectible stuff that I have on shelves upstairs. Okay. Take care, guys. This has been fun. I might make another one of these. I don't know. Maybe. Not to sell because uh, this is a lot of work. A lot of work. Uh, well, first of all, each one of these sides took like four hours to engrave. You know, you just leave it and it goes on its own. But, you know, overall, not too bad. I had fun.